Hello, in this video, we are going to look at various application of logic gates. Let's start with adders. Adders are logical circuits which are used to add binary digit or numbers. They are used in computers or microprocessors in arithmetic and logical unit to add binary numbers. They are also used to generate memory addresses inside a computer or to make the program counter point to the next instruction. It is also used to increment and decrement operators. We are going to cover two adder over here, half adder and full adder. Half adders are logical circuits that add two bits. Let's say we have two input A and B. There are four combination of values of 0 and 1. Now let's see how we add two numbers. It is very much same as how you do addition of decimal number in maths. When you add two single digit numbers, either you will get only sum in single digits or when you add two numbers, you get a result with a carryover. So when we add binary numbers 0 and 0, the sum is 0 only and there is no carry. When we add 0 and 1, the sum is 1 and carry is 0. When we add 1 and 0, the sum is 1 only and carry is 0. When we add 1 with 1, now the sum of this is 2 which is nothing but binary number 1 0 where 0 is the sum and 1 is carry. So this is the truth table for half adder. If you look at output of sum and carry, you will see that sum is 1 only when a and b are odd. So it is nothing but a xor b and carry is 1 when both a and b are 1. So it is nothing but a and b. You can also draw the logic circuit diagram for half adder which has two inputs a and b and xor gate for sum and AND gate for carry. Now let's take a look at full adder. Full adders are logical circuits that add 3 bits. Let's say we have 3 input A, B and C. We know for 3 inputs there are 2 raised to the power 3 or 8 combination of input values of 0 and 1. Now let's see how we add 3 numbers. It is again very much same as the addition of decimal numbers. Either you will get sum in single digits or you will get a result with a carryover. So when we add 3 binary numbers which are all 0, the sum is 0 only and there is no carry. When we add 0, 0 and 1, the sum is 1 and carry is 0. Again when we add 2 zeros and 1, 1, the sum is 1 only and carry is 0. When we add 0 with 2 ones now, the sum of this is 2 which is nothing but binary number 1 0 where 0 is the sum and 1 is carry. When we add 2 zeros and 1, the sum is 1 and carry is again 0. Next when we add 0 with 2 ones, now the sum of this is again binary number 1 0 where 0 is the sum and 1 is carry. Next one is also the same with 0 and 2 ones. So here also the addition will give 0 as sum and 1 as carry. Now the last one has 3 ones. Here this gives us the total of 3 which in binary is 1 1. So sum is 1 and carry is also 1. So this is the truth table for full adder. If you look at output of sum and carry, you will see sum is 1 only when A, B and C have odd inputs. So it is nothing but A X or B X or C and carry is 1 when either 2 or more of the output is 1 which is represented by equation AB plus BC plus AC. You can also draw the logic circuit diagram for full adder which has XOR gate for sum and 3 AND gates which are connected by one OR gate for carry. Now let's take a look at encoders. Encoders are logic circuits which perform the job of converting numbers from one base to binary. 
लाइक ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी डेसिमल टू बाइनरी और हेक्सा डेसिमल टू बाइनरी लेट्स लुक एट ईच वन ऑफ दैम फर्स्ट वी विल टेक अ लुक एट ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी एनकोडर दिस एनकोडर कन्वर्ट्स ऑक्टल नंबर टू इक्वल एंड बाइनरी नंबर्स एंड ऑक्टल नंबर इज रिप्रजेंटेड इन बेस एट सो इट हैज एट इनपुट लाइन फ्रॉम जीरो टू सेवन द हाइएस्ट इनपुट नंबर इज डिजिट सेवन which when converted to binary is triple 1 so it shows the max output line we need is 3 if we write binary number from 0 to 7 we will get truth table like this now from this truth table we can write the logical equation for each of the output like a2 is equal to o4 o5 plus o6 and o7 a1 is equal to o2 plus o3 plus o6 and o7 and a0 is equal to o1 o3 o5 and o7 now we can draw circuit diagram for the octal to binary encoder using the or logic gates with eight input which gives three output for example in this circuit if we give input as o4 then the output will be 100 and similarly when the input is o6 the output is 110 now let's see decimal to binary encoder this encoder converts decimal number to equivalent binary numbers for example if we want to convert decimal numbers 0 to 9 to binary then for 10 inputs we will get four output lines because if we write binary equivalent number for highest decimal number which is 9 it is 1001 which takes in four digits if we write binary number from 0 to 9 we will get truth table as shown now from this truth table we can write the logical equation for each of the output like a3 is d8 plus d9 a2 is d4 plus d5 plus d6 and d7 A1 is D2 plus D3 plus D6 and D7, and A0 is D1 plus D3 plus D5 plus D7 and D9. Now we can use this truth table and logical equation to draw circuit diagram for decimal to binary encoder using OR logic gates with 10 inputs, which gives four outputs. For example, in this circuit. If we give input as D4, then output will be 0100, and similarly, when input is D9, the output is 1001. Now let's take a look at hexadecimal to binary encoder. This encoder converts the hexadecimal numbers to equivalent binary numbers, and hexadecimal number is represented in base 16. So it has 16 input lines from 0 to f. The highest input number is digit f which is 1111. It shows that the max output line we need is 4. If we write binary numbers for 0 to f, we get truth table like this. Now from this truth table, we can write the logical equation for each of the output as shown. Now we can draw circuit diagram for the output using OR logic gates with 16 input which gives four output. Now in the circuit if we give input as i8 then output will be 1000 and similarly when input is c then the output is in binary which is 1100. Next we will take a look at decoders which are inverse of encoders. Decoder means to translate or decode coded information from one format into another. What we are going to see are binary decoders which are logic circuits which perform the job of converting binary numbers to number in any base like binary to decimal, binary to octal or binary to hexadecimal. Let's look at each one of them. First let's see binary to octal decoder. a decoder which converts binary number into its octal equivalent number is known as binary to octal decoder 
or 3 to 8 decoder. This is because it takes in 3 input lines and gives 8 output which is the octal number representing digits 0 to 7. If we draw the truth table for this and give all combination of inputs, we can give which output should be high. So when A, B and C are 0, the output O0 should be high. When A, B are 0 and C is 1, then O1 should be high and so on. For this we create the gate diagram wherein we take in the three inputs from these as per the truth table and AND it for each of the output. This is the logic circuit diagram for binary to octal decoder. Now let's see binary to hexadecimal decoder. A decoder which converts binary number into its hexadecimal equivalent number is known as binary to hexadecimal decoder or 4 to 16 decoder. This is because hexadecimal number has 16 digits from 1 to f and each number is represented into binary using 4 bits. If we draw the truth table for this, we will have different combinations of 4 inputs for which one of the 16 output lines should be high. Like here if all a, b, c, d are 0, then y0 should be high. When a, b, c are 0 and c is 1, then y1 should be high and so on. So for this, we create the logic circuit diagram wherein we take in the 4 inputs as per the truth table and add it to each of the output. This is the logic circuit diagram for binary to hexadecimal decoder. Now let's take a look at multiplexers. A multiplexer or MUX is a device that selects between input signal based upon some selector lines and forwards the selected input to a single output line. A multiplexer of 2 raised to the power n input has n select lines which are used to select which input line to send to the output. So if there are 4 input lines, it needs 2 selector lines. If there are 8 input lines, it needs 3 selector lines. And if there are 16 input lines, it needs 4 selector lines. Multiplexer makes it possible for several input signals to share one device or resource. It is also used to convert parallel bus to serial bus. We will first take a look at 4 into 1 multiplexer. The 4 into 1 multiplexer combines 4 input bits, 1 output bit and 2 control bits. The 4 input bits are namely I0, I1, I2 and I3 respectively. Only one of the input bits is transmitted to the output. The output O depends upon the value of the control input A and B. The control bit AB decide which of the input data bit should transmit to the output. This figure shows 4 into 1 multiplexer circuit diagram using AND gates. For example, when the control bit AB is 0, 0, then the first AND gate is allowed and the remaining AND gate are restricted. Thus data input I0 is transmitted to the output O. If the control input is changed to 0, 1, then all gates are restricted except the second AND gate. In this case, I1 is transmitted to the output and O is equal to I1. If the control input is changed to AB is equal to 0, 1, all gates are disabled except the third AND gate. In this case, I2 is transmitted to the output and O is equal to I2. And if the control input is changed to AB is equal to 1, 1, all gates are disabled except the last AND gate. In this case, I3 is transmitted to the output and O is equal to I3. Now let's take a look at 8 into 1 multiplexer. The 8 to 1 multiplexer consists of 8 input lines, 1 output line and 3 selection lines. The circuit shown is an 8 into 1 multiplexer which requires 8 AND gates, 1 OR gate and 3 selection lines. As an input, the combination of selection input is given to the AND gate with the corresponding input data lines. In similar fashion, 
all the AND gates are given selection of input. In this 8 into 1 multiplexer, for any selection line input, one AND gate gives a value of 1 and remaining all AND gate gives 0. And finally by using OR gates, all the AND gates are added and the output will be equal to the selected value. The 8 to 1 multiplexer can also be implemented by combination of 2 4 into 1 multiplexer and 1 2 into 1 multiplexer. Here two selection lines B and C are applied to both 4 into 1 multiplexer. The data input of upper 4 into 1 multiplexer is I7 to I4 and the data input of lower 4 into 1 multiplexer is from I3 to I0. Therefore, each 4 into 1 multiplexer produces an output based upon the values of selection line B and C. The output of first stage 4 into 1 multiplexer is applied as input to 2 into 1 multiplexer that is present in the second stage. The other selection line A is applied to 2 into 1 multiplexer. If A is 0, then the output of 2 into 1 multiplexer will be one of the four inputs I3 to I0 based upon the value of selection lines B and C. If A is 1, then the output of 2 into 1 multiplexer will be one of the four inputs I7 to I4 based upon the value of selection lines B and C. Now we will look at 16 to 1 multiplexer. In the 16 to 1 multiplexer, there are total of 16 inputs that is I0, I1 to I16 and 4 selection lines that is A, B, C and D and single output that is O. On the basis of the combination of the input that are present in the selection lines A, B, C and D, one of the 16 inputs will be connected to the output. The block diagram and the truth table of the 16 into 1 multiplexer is as shown. Here also we can implement 16 into 1 multiplexer by 2 8 into 1 multiplexer and 1 2 into 1 multiplexer. The three selection lines B, C and D are applied to both 8 into 1 multiplexer. The data input of upper 8 into 1 multiplexer are I8 to I15 and data input of lower 8 into 1 multiplexer are from I0 to I7. Therefore, each 8 into 1 multiplexer produces an output based on the value of selection lines B, C and D. The output of first stage 8 into 1 multiplexer is applied as input into 2 into 1 multiplexer that is present in the second stage. The other selection line A is applied to 2 into 1 multiplexer. If A is 0, then the output of 2 into 1 multiplexer will be one of the 8 inputs I0 to I7 based upon the value of selection lines B, C and D. If A is 1, then the output of 2 into 1 multiplexer will be one of the 8 inputs I8 to I15 based on the value of selection line B, C and D. With this we come to the end of the video. If you are finding any concept difficult to understand, you can always visit our website simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.